And this poor bloke, you know, he says he wouldn't be able to live with himself if he didn't send her the four thousand plus dollars and she died in war situation in Ukraine. This is a heinous scam. Welcome back to part five of wartime dating in Ukraine. Hello, hello guys. It's important that you be dating a quality woman, okay? So yes, be very careful sponsoring some Ukrainian woman that you don't know very well, especially when you met her on a PPL site or a free dating site or a dating app. You have no effing clue who she is because you haven't had time to court her back there. So yes, should you be fearful? Fuck yeah, that is what makes this process so natural, organic with our ladies, because you can take it to the bank. You are de dealing with a high quality, motivated lady that is genuinely motivated to find love and create a happy family, not some surreptitious motivation. I just want to be super clear on that point that you guys should be fearful and you should be worried Basically, if you're not dating a match guarantee lady, those are the only ones I can speak well of because we know our ladies inside and out. We have a very um, well-established vetting process that works for 21 years. It works very well. I want to add that even you, if you date uh, our ladies, don't think that you can miss the stage of coming to Europe and just make sponsorship uh, based on your distance relationship. I wouldn't advise you this. You need to come and to meet her and see there, you know, if you have chemistry, if you have, uh, you know, if you brought your relationship on a new level, when you see this planning for future. Yeah, and thanks. After this, thanks for clarifying that. You got to mm -hmm. understand, guys, uh, it is not normal in Slavic culture for a woman to come to meet the man first because it's not traditional. So, in fact, it's a red flag. But most important is you know, need to know that somebody else has checked her out, has time, has experience with her. Remember, most of our ladies have been with us for years. Yes, I don't know if you know that. It sometimes even shocks me. 32 year old, beautiful, you know, Kiev lawyer. I remember I did a soul profile for one. She's been with us for four years. Why is that? Well, it's just simply, she hasn't met the one yet. She's being picky. Yeah, she's not settling. She knows what she wants, so good for her, right? So you need to know that you're meeting quality women. This is a, now that is a the biggest of all points for you, for you guys out there. Going through this accelerated process, because it's happening quickly now. You're not having that same time frame to, to get to know her in Ukraine or in Eastern Europe, right? You're, uh, well, you have the opportunity. You still have the opportunity to fly and get to know her in, in Eastern Europe. But you also have the opportunity to bring her to you and get to know her uh, slowly, more organically. So I just wanted to be crystal clear on that point. Now, I dropped at the beginning, I shared with you um, about a scam story. And this is a horrific scam story. bloke you know he says he wouldn't be able to live with himself if he didn't send her the four thousand plus dollars and she died in war situation in Ukraine this is a heinous scam be weary of it guys this is what the scammers are doing and it's going to be more and more as this war probably unfortunately continues guys a lot of guys are telling me, oh yeah, and I have a spare bedroom in my house, right? Like, so I could just invite her to come and be with me, right? What do you say to that, babe? 
Oh, guys, don't think that you can now take advantage of the lady, you know? Don't think that uh, if something was not possible for you before war, now you can take, I don't know, 25 years year age gap, all of a sudden you can, or she can live with you. Um, it's again, it's put pressure on her, you know? It's not where you want to start a relationship, you know? You, you want to give it a time to, you know, to, to come to this together, you know? to, to to desire to live together because you have intention to get married, you know, and this should be certain time, um, not when she doesn't have other choices, you know, so she starts to live with you. You can easily break the romantic, you can lose, you know, all this thing that uh, naturally develop in relationship, all stages, you know. Yeah, you can, you can, you can lose what you have already created with her, right? It's a very bad idea, trust me. A couple of points. Um, just adding to what uh, Anya said is that whatever you couldn't pull off before, let's say it's a 20 year age gap before you tried, but it just didn't work. Don't think that you can pull that off now. Those ladies, are, it hasn't changed. They're not desperate as, we, as we've made crystal clear and we, as we've seen from uh, acceptance rejection examples of uh, prospective clients okay, and clients. Um, the other thing I just want to add, Dave, is that when in Slavic culture, when you, let's say for example, um, when you invite a Slavic lady back to your apartment, let's say you're dating in Kiev, and you invite her back to your apartment, you've only had one or two dates, is she going to accept the invitation to come to your apartment? Normally, no. <laughs> Normally, no, yeah, because it's, it, you, in fact, you're, you're basically inviting her to be a prostitute because that's what prostitutes do in Ukraine. They come back to your flat. It's like built in uh, to how mamas teach their daughters. Never go back to the to the man's flat. It's it's standard, it's customary. Again, it's traditional values in Ukraine. So you have to understand that when you're inviting her to come live with you in your spare bedroom, you're at some level inviting her to be you know a prostitute. This is what's getting triggered in her mind. So you never want to do this. Don't think guys that this is going to go on and you're going to have to support her, you know, because remember I said financially, you're going to have to be in a supportive role. So don't, but don't think that I'm going to have to support her for the next year. No, if your relationship is really going to develop and it's going to become something great, it's going to happen within a month or two organically anyway. Yeah. So you're renting her an apartment somewhat near you, you know, it's only going to be for a month or two and then it'll either work. Mm -hmm. or it won't work and if it doesn't work hey what's the worst thing that happened well you helped the ukrainian refugee get started get her feet on the ground in america okay that's that's awesome she has other refugee help and she has this time to make connections in the ukrainian community in whatever city in america or wherever as well right now i mentioned to you that probably our most difficult client in six years has now been successful after being unsuccessful dating in, and living in ukraine for three years dating six years living in ukraine for three years now he's met the one he's ott happy and he believes you know he's going to be married fairly soon actually so this client that you know very well because he's been on the channel although his face has been blurred is mr x so, and if you haven't seen Mr. X's videos, I'll put all the links, all the playlist link in the description below this video. It's good because he's had a lot of hard lessons, okay? And as he says, he spent $70,000 dating in Ukraine over the six years. Well, now he's met the one and he met her a month ago, so during the war, right? So it shows you, the proof is in the pudding. It is absolutely possible. And he's not an easy client and he's pulled it off during wartime dating. My question is, why can't you? Of course you can. And this video is all about helping you decide if you're man enough to go for it during wartime. Because it's definitely become more challenging of a journey. Thank you guys for being with us today. And uh, as always, I wish you to find your soulmate. And please, if you want to see us more and you find our videos very helpful, Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and uh, see you in our upcoming videos. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Have you been searching for a beautiful wife? Do you dream of meeting the perfect woman, but haven't found her? Well, imagine if there was a simple way 
this could all change for you. Imagine if there was a Canadian marriage agency that would introduce you to as many beautiful women as it takes until you find the one, Ukraine, a lost world of beautiful traditional women. At last, a place where you can find the beautiful wife you have always dreamed of. Every Ukrainian woman dreams of having a happy family. Now you can have a traditional beautiful wife from Ukraine, creating happy family memories forever. So what are you waiting for? Register right now and Skype our beautiful ladies completely free. So what makes us different, you might ask? Why not ask Google simply by searching Match Guarantee Reviews.